Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something super useful for developers and sysadmins. How to SSH into a digital ocean droplet using an SSH key, no passwords required. If you're tired of typing passwords every time you log in or just want a more secure way to access your servers, this tutorial is for you. Let's get started. Before we begin, make sure you have a few things ready. Um, a digital ocean account, if you don't have one, I'll leave a link in the description to sign up. A local computer with Mac OS, Linux, or Windows with PuTTY or Open SSH. An SS key pair. If you don't have one, don't worry, I'll show you how to create one. Let us first look at how to generate an SSH key pair for a new droplet. Then we will also look at how to add an SSH key to an already existing droplet. To create a new droplet in DigitalOcean, click on Create, the green button at the top right. Select Droplets from the drop-down. The rest is easy, like you have to select the location where you want your server to be, which is near your customers or users. Select an image that is the operating system. Pick a pricing plan based on your needs, basic, general purpose, CPU optimized, etc. Depending on the amount of RAM, disk space, and so on. What we are mostly interested in in this part, choose authentication method here, select SS key. Next, click on Add SSH Key. On this window, there are instructions on how you can add an SSH key. So let us open a command prompt and run the command provided. If you're on Windows, there is a video in uh, the description on how to create SSH keys with PuTTY on Windows. The SSH Keygen command is used to generate a new SSH key pair. Uh, which consists of a public and private key. These keys are used for secure authentication to remote servers without needing a password. Press Enter to accept the default file location, and then you can optionally add a passphrase for extra security. Once the key is generated, you'll see two files where it says your identification has been saved in is the private key, that is the location where the private key is stored. Never share your private key, but the public key is what we'll upload to DigitalOcean. The second is, is the public key location. Copy the location and run this command to display the public key on the command line. That is the public key, copy it, and go to the Digital Ocean dashboard. Next, paste the copied key into the Digital Ocean form. Give it a name and click Add SSH Key. That's it. Your public key is now stored in Digital Ocean. You can use the same key when you create new droplets, or you can create more if you want. Let us now create the droplet and then take note of the IP address and try to connect to it using SSH. So just copy the IP address and open to your terminal and connect. So 
since we're using the key, you won't be prompted for a password. If you set a passphrase earlier, you'll need to enter that. But otherwise, you'll be logged in instantly. And there you go. You're now securely connected to your droplet without needing a password. Now let us see how to add SSH keys to an already existing droplet. So the second droplet, you can only connect to it using a password. Let us add a key to it. Let us first try to connect to it. As you can see, it is asking for a password. Run this command, add the IP address of the droplet. This command is used to copy your public SSH key to a remote server, allowing passwordless authentication using SSH. The key has now been copied. Let us try connecting to it again. And that's it. You've successfully set up SSH key authentication for DigitalOcean. If this video helped, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Thanks for watching.